Hey guys, my name is Rob, and today I will be showing you how to use the database research tool within eGrow to identify successful products for your FBA business. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is set up the database research tool with the appropriate filters. On the left side, you can see the list of categories that you can choose from. But if you do not have a category in mind yet, you can simply choose all departments or leave the category selection blank. Next, I can specify a subcategory by typing it into the search bar. For this example, I will leave the filter empty to generate more broad product results. Here in the middle column, I can specify numerical thresholds for many criteria, including price, number of reviews, average reviews, estimated sales, estimated revenue, BSR, number of other sellers, net revenue, weight, the number of images on the listing, and the listing quality score. I could spend hours talking about different research strategies using these metrics. However, that is more of an advanced topic. In today's video, I simply want to show you the functionality of the database research tool. Therefore, I will simply apply a few basic filters related to price, estimated sales, and weight. The column on the right allows us to apply some more advanced filters, including whether the product results should be standard or oversized. You can also specify the type of seller listing each product that appears in the results. For example, you might be interested in only researching products that are being sold by other FBA sellers. Moving down, we can indicate any title keywords that we want the product results to include or exclude. We can also specify specific brand keywords. The ordered by dropdown allows you to specify a metric to sort the results by. However, my personal preference is to wait and do this once the results are loaded. Finally, you can save all of the filters set for this particular search by clicking Save. Then, if you ever want to apply these exact filters again in the future, you can click Apply, the name of the filter, and then Apply again. I should also note that the database research tool will automatically load your most recent search filters every time you reopen this tool. Now let's conduct the search. At the top of the search results, we can see the average value squares. The average best seller rank square tells us that the average BSR of the products displayed on this results page is 10,022. Additionally, the minimum and maximum values indicate that the BSRs for all of these results range from 6,000 to 22,000. We can also view these metrics for price, reviews, sales, and revenue. These average value squares provide a great overview of the niche's metrics. However, keep in mind that the average value squares are calculated only by the products displayed on this page. You can change the number of products per page, and as you can see, the average value squares now reflect this change. Now let's take a look at the product table. Before we jump into the details, I would just like to note that you can export all of the information as a CSV file should you like to manipulate the data outside of eGrow. Within the product table, we can see a significant amount of relevant product information. By hovering over an image, I can see the product in greater detail. In addition, hovering over any titles that are particularly long, such as the second listing, will allow me to see it in its entirety. Below the title, I can see any relevant brand information, as well as the ASIN and the type of seller listing the product. Moving to the right, we are able to see numerical information, including the specific product's BSR, price, net revenue minus fees, weight, number of sellers, reviews, listing quality score ranging from 0 to 10, sales, and revenue. You also have the ability to see more numerical data and historical trends for a product by clicking on its title to open the product page. Within the product page, you can see more detailed information, including additional images if the listing has any, a breakdown of the BSR, and more. You can also view the listing within Amazon by clicking this Amazon icon. 
and you can access the product reviews by clicking this Amazon icon. These are helpful resources to determine how you might be able to improve a listing should you decide to sell a similar product. If you would like to add this product to your product tracker, simply click the Add to Product Tracker icon. Lastly, I would like to show you how to complete the same three actions back in the product table. You can access the listing within Amazon by clicking this Amazon icon. To read the reviews, click the number below the stars in the Reviews column. Finally, to add the item to your product tracker, click the plus icon. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you have found it helpful and that now you have a better understanding of how to use the database research tool for your product research. Please comment below with any additional questions you have about the database research tool and click subscribe so that you will be notified when future tutorials are released. See you next time.